Hey everyone, this is just a, an addition to the previous videos, video uh, I had recorded where we brought up the SDA fabric from a switching perspective and we got a, a, a wired client uh, doing authentication via 802.1x uh, using username and password. Uh, so in this uh, short video, we'll just um, uh, onboard these uh, two phones uh, that are plugging into the to the fabric switch, uh, so we can then simulate the, uh, a phone and then a, a client uh, daisy chain uh, to that phone. So let's uh, get into it. Uh, let's jump on to our DNA center. So I have uh, navigated here to provision uh, fabric sites, clicked on my East Point uh, site, and go, went into host onboarding virtual networks. So on the Corp uh, virtual network, I'm going to add a, an IP pool. So this would be uh, Corp Voice. And let's give it a name of uh, Corp Voice. Traffic type will be Voice. I'm not assigning any SGTs to it, and I'll, I'll leave the, the rest uh, uh, as default. Let's add that. Deploy now. That will be provisioned onto our uh, network devices. So on the edges. So on edge one, I would have that IP phone would be plugged into port 35. And on edge two, running the same command, the phone would be same on port uh, 45. I think uh, here, what the DNA Center has done is uh, actually let's uh, do so we have our corp. DN for data, and we have our core voice uh, DN for our voice over IP phones. Okay, so before then, we have uh, these devices uh, joining the network. Uh, so let's uh, actually just shut them down for a second. Shut down. Let's shut down as well. Yeah, I believe ICE uh, has already seen them, uh, possibly. So what we'll do is uh, go to policy, policy element results, and create a profile for voice. profile for web phones. What we're going to do here then is assign a VLAN. And I think that's uh, what we had assigned. We just confirm. So yeah, corp voice all in lowercase. And so we'll leave it at that. And we have to enable this uh, checkbox here voice domain uh, permission. So hopefully that will set us up. What we have to do as well is create a profile uh, for this. Uh, so let's go into policy profiling. <clears throat> and let's create a logical profiling here. So Go with the phone or lab phones just to keep it consistent with the lab APs. So again, let's 
let's look at our models. Uh, 7841 and 9971. So here we have to search for those. If I do a 7841, there we go. It's easier. And then 9971. Because we can use this logical profile when we build our policy. The policy sets, uh, this will be mapped. <coughs> Let's uh, duplicate this below and put that columns that's equal to not lab APs put the lab phones use that and actually we can make an addition here not really needed but uh, just put it in there so and wire map and logical profile and let's put these guys into corp data voice actually this this naming conventions uh, not really consist should be corp voice vn rather than data uh, but I'll change that, change that uh, some other day or later on. Let's save that. Let's uh, give it a trust uh, device test uh, for now. Uh, if we want it to be a bit more granular, we can go here in DNA Center to Policy Security Groups. And let's create one that says VoIP. Uh, it will take a lowercase, yeah. So tag of 20, and let's give it a virtual network of uh, corp. Let's give it a lab phone's uh, description. Save now. That should uh, take a while before it propagates onto ice. So that's our ICT value 20. If we go to ice here and work centers, it should be components, cross site components, or a boy. Void phone, so DNA Center would have pushed this onto ICE, which means we can then use it on our policy set. Let's go to MAB, authorization, and then change that to Void phones. Uh, I think we'll have to let this guy in <coughs> for a little bit so DNA Center or ICE can profile them and then hit the correct rule. Then we change that to deny. So let's save that. We'll open our operations uh, radius type logs. And we'll unshot uh, our ports. So no shot. Level C in the power in there. And no shot in here as well. be negotiating so let's uh, wait for those um for those phones to boot up and hopefully we'll see them here in a minute or two so i'll pause the video and i'll, I'll we'll wait until they they boot up so that didn't take long so uh, here's our first phone in there so 
5 and 8c. So they're both uh, um, being mapped and hitting the lab phone's authorization rule and put into the corp data voice VN uh, authorization profile. Okay, so I think we, from a policy perspective, we can then just didn't need uh, this, so we'll, we'll return it to deny. If we'll go here to, to show authentication sessions, 35 detail. So we have um, on that port, so we have our phone 7841, it's the voice domain the VLAN 1023, which is our new, or the IP pool that we had uh, deployed at the start of the video. So to show run, so to our Corp VA, uh, Corp voice in the Corp uh, VN, and an SCT value of 20, which is the one that we just uh, created. So to show, CTS environment data and number 20. So this one uh, hasn't downloaded the, the new ones. I think I can force that. So CTS refresh environment data. And hopefully we will have our tag of 20 in there. Yes, so there we go. So 20 is the uh, VoIP, VoIP phones. So probably I'm here to show CTS environment. 20 is missing from there. So let's do, do CTS refresh environment data. And there's, there we go. So our CT of 24 VoIP uh, phones in that. Edge two, if we do the same, uh, but actually that port uh, has gone down for some reason. To show indication thirty-five detail. So for some reason that phone it's uh, rebooting from there. We'll give it a second or two between before it uh, comes back and check what our authentication sessions shows up in there. Be back in a second. Okay, so I had seen then uh, that dot one x uh, was running. So dot one x uh, runs first uh, for a few seconds. I believe the default is 21 seconds or 30 seconds, uh, something along those lines. So if dot one x uh, fails, then it moves on to map. Uh, so that's what happened here. So map authentication success. So we have our phone 9171. Uh, and same thing, our VN, core VN on VLAN 1023, and a CT value of 20, which we've seen is the voice over IP phones. So you can then apply policies based on, on, on that CT, and uh, we'll see that in a, in a future uh, video. So what we'll do now is uh, bring up a client, uh, a client that is uh, daisy chained to that voice over IP phone. Log it in. So let's bring the adapter on that. And so let's, uh, the NIC that is connecting to edge number two. Let's enable that. Hopefully that will pass uh, authentication. Uh, successfully authenticated in there. It's got an IP address. So initially on that port, uh, we could only see our phone. But if we do the same command, we can see then that there's a, a domain user uh, in there. So the SDLAB F Hoban with a VLAN of 10.21, just for the corp data, and an SCT value of 18. Whereas the phone, which is uh, um, ahead of the client, 
is a VLAN 1023 with an SCP value of uh, 20. So hopefully that illustrates the daisy chaining of a voice over IP phone and a client uh, behind it. Uh, hopefully that was uh, informative. So if you have any questions, just uh, feel free to reach out uh, to myself directly. Thank you. Bye.